Giants OK, we're back again with another preview and it's our first home game. We're playing Stockport on Tuesday night. Exciting. Yeah, another Tuesday night game. Absolutely, it breaks really. the week up a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it should be great. Um, <clears throat> Medal Lane again, obviously first home game of the season, hopefully in numbers, because over 700 travel down to Eastleigh, which... I think it was closer to 800. Was it? Yeah. It's incredible support. It's, it'll be better it'll be incredible support in the Football League, but to say we're non-league, first game this season. Absolutely. Like, amazing. So Stockport fans are going to have about a two-hour journey. Uh, to Med Lane if they come two hours back so four hours on a Tuesday night um, we'll see how many they bring hopefully it's a fair few to get a good atmosphere yeah. um, and that'll be fantastic from our point of view yeah. we've, uh, we've got a decent record against them all in all obviously it goes back to 1913 which is a long time ago we've got 15 wins 9 draws and 9 losses so it's one of those we've got a good uh, decent record against them but for now I suppose yeah. it doesn't really 11, matter 11 years ago yeah. since the last game we're in a similar boat though. We both lost our opening games one nil. Mm. They lost. Uh, was it Maidenhead? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, the yeah. early kick off. They're nineteenth or twentieth in the league. Twenty first, I think. Twenty first. Twenty first. Yeah. It's, so it's early days for us, but very similar boat. Yeah. Um. So obviously the Maidenhead Stockport game was on TV. I uh, had a quick watch of that. Watched about eighty minutes of it. So picking out a few players to watch for Stockport. Um. On Tuesday night. So obviously, Matty Warburton's left. Uh, he's gone into the Football League and he was an influential player for them last season yeah. um, obviously in the National League North but if he's gone to the Football League he could have made the step up so oh, yeah. you know that's that's a player that will be miss, missing for them but for not that's, that can only be a good sign can't it so Matty Warburton won't be there uh, next player is Sam Minahan now I watched him um, I think he was given Stockport's player of the game against um, Maidenhead and he was an attacking fullback and when I say attacking he was he put a lot of crosses into that box so yeah. he's going to be dangerous because as you saw with Reader Johnson's goal against us we're not great from crosses yeah. so he was set piece really attacking general, yeah. Yeah. so Bakayogo is going to have to really keep him under wraps because too many crosses and Ard has already said we're not the most physical side Yeah, could be dangerous to us so um, yeah he's got a lot of non-league experience as well uh, next player is a midfielder he sort of played out wide Jake Kirby um, and I think he turned the maidenhead fullback in and out got him I think it was him that got the maidenhead player booked um, yeah he looked decent um, yeah. he was playing down the left on TV so potentially it could be Tutu or Kelly Evans either of the two you know he's going to be a dangerous player and he was whipping crosses in as well and yeah. I think that's a weakness they could exploit yeah. uh, finally Frank Mulhern the Irish striker uh, 10 goals last year can he make the step up played 90 minutes yesterday didn't really threaten but first game of the season so Frank Mulhern he's another player to watch out for for Stockport up front it's hard to judge at the minute as well you know the start of the season is all the nerves and everything but uh, we're going to squad news for Notts we've obviously got two players with three match bans I know uh, I know Doyle he deserved his red card but hearing that McCrory they're going to appeal it so mm. maybe he'll get a shorter ban or the red card will be rescinded I don't know how appeals work in this league because there's not the mass amount of cameras everywhere exactly. for an appeal so well, he, he, uh, Audley was saying that he's got pictures yeah I mean it, they've got to be good pictures I think to get a, to be appealing a red card yeah we've got uh, Turner as well we, well I, we were hoping to see him slot straight into the squad but um, oddly said he's not match fit no he played 20 minutes yeah you played 20 minutes and at the back, at the back end of a, a 1-0 mm. loss I think it's hard to to mm. judge where he's at cause I think he's been going stiff hasn't he after training so. he said didn't he yeah but, so yeah. it's just that centre back if he's, if he's carrying on playing three centre backs yeah what's going to happen there then yeah, well, that, that's one of the departments we're definitely lacking a bit of depth and the players that we have got in here are young it's going to be a tricky one I hope Hopefully McCrory can get his bump. Do you feel like those are lost for the three matches, personally? I think going into the opening game of the season... Being given captaincy. Being given captaincy, what's happened, you've got to be leading by example. We were just saying there, there's a lot of young players in the squad. Just just try and hold your own a bit. He's 37, he should be able to compose himself better than that for me. Spot on. Um, but I think it's a chance, and we'll go into our team, I think it's a chance for another player to shine through so yeah. so we're going 5-3-2 again the fluid 5-3-2 or 3-5-2 formation yeah. in goal Slocum Got be in it. Um, left wing back back Yogo now this is where we struggle so who, who do we go for for centre backs well we're not really left with much choice are we and last game 
I know there was a few complaints about um, Oxley Chamberlain. But what, what what else can we do? We've got Turner who's not match fit, and we've got um, McCrory who's got he's got banned. So it's looking like Bird, Dunn, and Chamberlain at the back. Which <laughs> that's massively inexperienced. It is inexperienced. Yeah. I have a lot of faith in Bird. He's not one of those youngsters no. where you look at him and think, oh, he might make a mistake because he doesn't seem to make many. And I don't know, I've not really seen much of. He's, he's the he captain. Played, he's the captain of the youth team, though. Which and he played a midfield role against Darwin yeah, like Russell, a, or it's a defender midfield. Yeah. So you, you hope you hope because we've got we've gone for Tootle over Kelly Evans. I just like to see Tootle given a chance. Yeah, I um, think um, he's he's definitely one of those players for me that he he's held his hands up last season and he said he didn't have a great season and he's going to want to make. Like make amends with that sort of thing. Yeah. You hope the fullbacks, if we do play this Oxley Chamberlain, Dunn and um Bird, you hope the fullbacks are gonna bring their experience and help that. Yeah, yeah. So midfield two. Uh, it's gotta be Rosen O'Brien. Rosen O'Brien every day. O'Brien you were saying should have been given captaincy. I think he should. For me, that that is who was it against? Mansfield last season. Now Mansfield got a player he got turned over and he was just on the floor. And O'Brien was screaming in his face. I know whatever you think of that but for me he's just got that passion for the club and he's got the right mentality for that league I think yeah definitely exactly a tough league so Rose and O'Brien um, in Dora's place I've been saying all pre-season how much I want to see him I want to see this is the chance now for Andy Kellett to come in yeah. if he can get three games you know this is his chance and I think Massive he'll good. have a great game if he plays against Stockport for me I'd, I'd have like Rose and O'Brien over the, the centre backs yeah. and then I'm like a attacking midfielder in Enzio but like we said last uh, last preview having Roman so like let him sort of do what so he wants go, on the left and the right you'll go Enzio over Kelly yeah we'll but see what he does at the there. same time I would like to see Kelly given a chance yeah um, and then strikers you want Hemmings and Tyson I'd like to see Hemmings and Tyson give them, give them a few games together see if they they uh, can develop something special and maybe if one of them's underperforming get Dennis on yeah I would like to see Dennis at some point I'd maybe like to see Dennis start up front with someone with either Hemmings or Tyson personally I don't think that's going to happen and the way uh, Ardley was speaking if he wants another striker in I think that's curtains for either Hemmings or or Dennis one of the two um, personally I'd probably say Dennis yeah but, but also I've heard St Mirren are looking at Hemmings which is a big player off the wage bill but we'll have to see yeah. so predictions George what are you going to go I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're just going to sneak a 2 1 win. With who scoring? Um, I reckon O'Brien will get one. Mm-hmm. And Tyson. O'Brien and Tyson. I'm going to go 1 1. I think they will score early on. But I think um, we'll compose ourselves. And I'm going with Bird from a corner. Yeah. So 1 1. What do you think about the attendance? You think we'll get a decent, decent few down? Yeah, I think there'll be a good few thousand. People are excited, even though yesterday's result happened. Yeah. First game, it was the first game of the season with less than forty hours prep. Like, don't I think you can't read too much into it. Yeah, you're hearing people say hardly that and all that, but give, not give, for me. Give the bloke a chance. Yeah, exactly. Um, so down at the lane, get yourself down on Tuesday. Could be really great. Um, hopefully, starting our first home game of the season with a win. Yep.